Hey guys, I want to show you how to skirt a marlin lure. It's pretty wicked. Easy, but you got to know. First, you need your skirts. Okay? Get some good scissors. Your floss, 35 pound floss. I got 50 pound, that'll work. Pledge, you need pledge. That's going to be your slipping agent. First thing I do is I measure the, the bottom throat. I just kind of eyeball it to my scissors. That's about three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to cut it back about three quarters of an inch from the throat of the, uh, or the shoulders, I'm sorry, of the uh, skirt. Okay? Next thing I do, I'm gonna turn it inside out. Here's the trick right here. Turn it inside out. Flip over all the skirt strands. Take a little pledge, squirt, squirt. Now look at this. I grab, whoa, shit, almost dropped a $100 head there. Okay, I take it and look at it, it slides. Now a new skirt when it's a little cold is a little difficult. You kinda gotta wiggle it down there and get it over that second throat. It's not hard, hard, but you do kinda gotta give it a little bit of muscle, okay? Now look at that, there it is. Now, you can see the, the ledges on the, on the different throats for the back skirt and the top throat. I grab my floss, get a liberal amount of floss, three feet. I mean, it's the only liberal thing I do in my life, but I will tell you, you got to have a liberal piece right there. Make a loop, and then I go ahead and lay it over there. I give it three to four wraps, one, two, three, four, nothing tight, but then I just kind of give it a snug. Then I do another three wraps, boom, 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 give it a little tug. I take the tag in through that rabbit hole, that loop I made. I grab the other tag in, put it in my teeth, give it a little firmly pull, snug them down together. They slide, that knot slides right down together. Boom. Now, those tag ends, you can trim them short, but there's no reason to. Nobody sees them. I cut mine about half an inch. That allows me to, to uh, take the skirt off a lot easier, you know, without having to worry about it. And now look, I pull that skirt down the right way, and there you go. Boom. Okay, next thing we got to do, we got to do the second skirt, the top skirt. Again, get my scissors to eyeball it exactly how far it is. Eh, it's about a half inch, you know. It doesn't matter if it's too long, but do not cut that shit too short. You will ruin your skirts, okay? Don't cut it short. You can always trim it if it's too long. All right, now look at that. I go back inside and I pull the skirts again. I'm just gonna repeat the same thing, except it's a little different. I give it a little squirt of pledge, get a little lemony fresh. I then take my lure with the skirt already on it, and I take all those strands, and I put it inside that other skirt. Now look at this, I grab it from the other skirt top, I grab this one, flip them over, and I just kinda make sure I get them all out of there, and I just kinda Give it a tuck. Look how easy that shit just slides over. Okay? Very, very easy. Boom. Now I got to secure the second skirt. I do the same exact thing. Big old piece of thread, three and a half feet or so. Make my loop. Give it some wraps. One, two, three, four. Boom. Give it a little snug. Do it again. One, two, three, four. Oh, shit. What are you doing? Okay, there you go. Now look at this. I'll take that tag in through the rabbit hole once again. Okay, you don't want it to go too tight or you'll cut through the skirt. So just snug enough, okay? Grab, your, grab that other tag in, slide them together. You'll see how that goes together. It's pretty easy. Done. Give it a little trim trim with the old bubble blade scissors. Doink, doink. Now look at this. She is ready to go. Beautiful. Like it? I love it.